So I have a friend whose wife recently asked him for a divorce and he's picking up the pieces. Let's talk about that. Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing 100 nothingcom I am Fug It. That stands for the fittest underdog guru using intelligent tactics. Guys, today I want to talk to you about a friend of mine, close friend, and he's been married 10 years, has two children, and recently his wife asked him for a divorce. Now, they... Um, have an interesting relationship you know they met at work and quickly hit it off and realized that they wanted to spend their lives together so they got married and fast forward a couple years they've got their first child then their second child and in the last six months he's been going through some things where um, he had an issue at work and ended up losing his job and he has um, struggled to keep employment since. So he's got some issues. He lost a family member um, that affected his psyche and he felt guilty by not spending time, enough time with this family member that he was close to. And it's really affected his um, mental health, his mental wellness. So he's struggling. Um, she's struggling with um, communication they're not on the same page with physical intimacy, and it's a real strain, you know? I think at, the, at their heart of hearts, they love each other, and um, he's willing to do anything it takes to save the marriage, and he wants to be in his kids' lives every day, and, you know, he's just really struggling, trying to get, you know, um, his mojo back, so to speak, and be able to, you know, hold down a good job again, and all these things. So. You know, if these things are happening to you or if they've happened to you, you know, it could feel like your whole world's falling apart. And I asked him a question. Um, I wanted to get his immediate response, you know, that, um, that first uh, reaction to it without really a lot of thought. And I said, why do you want to stay in the marriage? I said, is it for her and love or is it for your kids? And he didn't even blink. He just said, for my kids. And people have differing views on this, you know. Um, I know my parents, they weren't the happiest together, but they said they wanted to stay together for the kids until the kids grew up, all these other things, right? And, you know, I, I look at that on one hand as noble and, you know, doing the right thing. But on the other hand, also, um, should we ask someone to be unhappy? in a situation that they're not in, whether it's their job, a relationship, what have you. And the thing is, is you can't, if someone believes that they're going to be happier without you uh, for whatever reason, and you've done everything you can to try to save that relationship, and they're still convinced that they'd be better off without you, then the selfless thing would be to honor that and let them go there's um, nothing you can do if there's like complete resolve on your partner's part that they no longer want to be married to you. And I think the thing that you've got to ask, first ask yourself, you know, your reasons why you want to be in this relationship or this marriage. Um, and are they compelling enough to stay? Is it worth the sacrifice of you know, in his case, his happiness, his fulfillment, um, as far as, you know, having his needs met as a man. And if, if it's something that can be worked through, whether it's through better communication or counseling or what have you, then fine. But again, it takes two. And everybody has the right to choose what's going to make them happy in their life. And if they're wrong and they have um, regret, then it is what it is. And, you know, like I said, if they do end up getting divorced, you know, he's got a lot of pieces to pick up and I'm a good friend. I'll be there for him. Um, but it's, you know, going through, um, relationships that were broken, um, 
and there was no um, desire on my part for that, um, there's a healing that goes on, a brokenness at first, and then the healing process happens. And when you heal, you change, you grow. Um, the worst thing you can do is get stuck in bitterness, regret, um, thinking about what could have been and emotionally crippling yourself and staying uh, stunted and in a time warp, so to speak. You know, you've got to heal and move on um, if this is the case for you. And, you know, having good friends around you, getting in touch with yourself again, your emotions, giving yourself time to heal, improving your self-awareness, working on self-esteem, letting go of the offenses or saying, I should have done this, I should have done that. Learn from your mistakes, become a better version of you. And it's only in hindsight, it'll take a long time, but you will heal, you will grow, and you'll be better when you choose to do so. So guys, I got a lot to say about this stuff. It's always um, multifactorial. There's always um, uh, his, hers, and the truth um, of where you know, how things really went sideways, etc. But, you know, at the end of the day, if you're um, going through this situation, I empathize with you and I wish you the best. Um, continue to seek out positive and influential role models and friends and mentors that are going to help you to be better. Um, look at people that have been through similar situations. They'll have a lot of insight and nothing takes away the pain but time and uh, becoming a better version of yourself and life. Just think it always changes. It's always evolving. There's things that die and things that grow and bloom and blossom. And it'll be a new season in your life. Um, and it's an, uh, a time that you can either become the best version of yourself, like I said, or you can, um, you know, get stuck. And you don't want to get stuck. You want to move on, be better. And especially if you're the one who didn't want the divorce, their um, success is the best revenge. Um, you know, in time, especially when you have children, um, you know, they'll always be in your life. Um, and maybe you can become friends again, but you know, there's always that little wedge, but you know, do the best thing by your kids and you know, never bad mouth their um, mother or father and just try to walk upright and with class and think and consider before you respond to anything that's offensive or accusational by them and realize that people are in pain and they do things that are going to be um, out of their own pain to try to hurt you. So, you know, try to take the high road with those things and don't do anything or say anything that could possibly, um, you know, keep your kids from you or in any way um, end up in a legal battle or a criminal action. So yeah, on that note, just real, being real with you guys, you know, take the high road. Uh, life is precious, life is short, everyone deserves to be happy. You will be happy again when you choose to be and you heal and you get better. You will be a better version of yourself when it's all said and done. Again, I wish you the best and I will talk to you all again soon.